they'll tell you that there's nothing to like about the other school. This SEC rivalry goes way back. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. teams are lining up for the kickoff and we're just about set to get this one underway nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive he's taken down around the 26 yard line From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Brought down at the 34. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. And they're coming after this punter. And this one is a beauty. Hunter's a guy that you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach, Herbie. And we talked to those guys this week, and, and he gives them nightmares, I think. Yeah, I think he does. I think they're concerned about his big playability. I think you're really going to have to see this defense commit numbers to the line of scrimmage, put an eighth, sometimes even a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage. And by slowing him down, that can give yourself a chance to be able to slow down this offense. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's hit and taken down. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Passes to the right, it's picked off. like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He throws right. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. Out of bounds at the 21. It's second and five here. Ball on the 21. Got some open field. 
Nice run there as they work the outside. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Young off the right side, and he's taken down at about the 13. From the 13-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the five-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Touchdown, Bulldogs! has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 45-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Gets to about the 17-yard line. The Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Hunter gains about two yards on the run. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 19. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 28-yard line, first down. He might have a chance. The ball pops free. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From the 45-yard line, second down, Georgia is up seven. Nice run there. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's the halfback. 
There's a very impressive open field tackle. The halfback picks up a yard. This safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. Six. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Decent pickup. That's good for a game of four yards. That brings him second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Georgia is up by a touchdown. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. And that's his second touchdown of the day. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 45-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Thorson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 27th. Georgia's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Slides down. Picks up five on the scramble. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 48. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. given there's nowhere to run. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Third down now. They need to get it to the 29. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And he's stopped behind the line. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. The offense tried to run right by him with the counterplay, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. 
The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. goes downtown and he hauls that one in and they make the stop at the three yard line first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line On the ground inside and he's tackled at the one that's good for a gain of two yards that brings up second and goal they put everyone up on the line touchdown georgia He makes the PAT, a five-play, 67-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 21-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. George is looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. We've played one quarter. The Bulldogs lead 21-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, 
I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down. Right around the 44-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Chapman is waiting for the snap. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He has some room. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. Second down and seven. Ball on the 41. Mike 12. Red 2. Blue 20. Go! Go! Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From their own 36-yard line, third down. Got an opening, and he's got the junior. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. It's first down. Defense trying to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he adds the extra point. It was a five-play, 74-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. I don't know what these guys have to do to get back on track, but they need to try something. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He throws right. This one is dropped. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. First down. 
First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 38. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 38. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Let's go! He's on the run, and they got him. He has one job on passing situations: get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. He scrambled. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Here's the eighth play of the series. the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Tenth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. The ball is loose. Picks up the fumble. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Takes the ball right. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 43. Georgia is winning big. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And for Young, he makes it 100 yards worth of catches. Well, they continue to put the football in his hands, and he continues to make plays for them. This guy right now clearly is the go-to guy for this offense. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gives it left side. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Here he goes. Good outside run there. Beck picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. It's second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Caught 
caught out in the open. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 12-yard line. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 12-yard line, second down. He makes it to the nine. The back gets three on the carry. This is the eighth play of this drive. Georgia looking to build on this commanding lead here. He's in trouble. Throws and it's incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. From the 49-yard line, first down. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Going for it all to the end zone. That close to being intercepted. Number two was the intended receiver on the ball. That makes it second and 10. He goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still 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 it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Auburn 
kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight, because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. Got it, and brought down immediately. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Georgia with a big advantage. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. He airs it out. Complete. It's the junior. Tackle at the two. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. From the two yard line, second down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he's level at the five. Easy, easy. Room 20. Finds a man. Touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 38-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Now he's scrambling, and they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. So we've played two quarters. Georgia in front, 38-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. We got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and 10, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, you guys just sit there in your easy chairs. Kirk and I have work to do here in this third quarter. Hopefully it's going to get better. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Tackle 
tackle made at about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. It's third and 10. Ball on the 25. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Bell, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Georgia up big right now in this one. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line. It's first down. Here's the give. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Watch the pass. Mike 12. Mike 12. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 14. From the 14-yard line, first down. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. And here's another third down. Georgia. Looking to put this game away if they score here. Four, X, seven. Hey, if you kill it, motion me out. This is to add to an already impressive lead. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. On the throw, incomplete pass.
it to the halfback on the screen. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. rid of this one from the 44 yard line it's third down got it but he's gonna lose yards here Set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. And the thing that's going to make this performance really stand out is the fact that he's helping bury a hated rival. Just about ready to call a first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Georgia comes to the line in complete control in this game. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of four on one play. That'll bring up third and six. And he's taken down around the 33 yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 33. And he is drilled at the 44. the middle for a nice game from their own 49 yard line second down oh it almost picked off they're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted not a very smart decision by the quarterback he had no shot at completing it Georgia up by a bunch. Black five, black five. He steps up. Got him on the screenplay. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42. This is the eighth play of this drive.
Brought down in the open field. Robinson picks him up six yards with a catch. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Got a man. Watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 18-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18. And they make the stop at about the 21. That brings up second and 13. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Georgia comes to the line. They've got a big advantage in this one. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. 13th play of the drive coming up. And he stopped behind the line. Nice two yards on the play. That makes it dirty goal. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Mike, 12. Reset, right, right. Check number six. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, nine. Ready. 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 Quick throw, caught, touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 14 play, 80 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling on a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in a game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. In and out of his hand. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 39. All the game, 14 yards. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. That's 25 for Mike. We got 25 for Mike. That's a slant. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 47. That's good for a It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. Fires it out, and he hits him hard at the 43. That'll make it second and seven. 
Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Got it and brought down immediately. Williams makes the tackle at the 39 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Bulldogs are up big. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. They'll give it off here. Nice gain as he works the right side. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. It's scooped up. Brought down around the 10-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 10. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Dives, and he's down. From the one-yard line, it's second down. And he dives forward, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Georgia up big right now in this one. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. That'll bring up 32. Go. 
caught him, and they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. I don't know what game plan this offense is running, but it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Scott is back deep to return the punt. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they got it. They need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this defense is coming after them. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And this one falls incomplete. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He fields it at the 17. Got the corner. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Georgia with a commanding lead. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on their own 32. Bring him down at the 33-yard line. Game one on the play. Third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Dog. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. At the 37-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. 
Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Georgia looking to add to this big lead here. He gets sacked on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Lewis is back awaiting the punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 22. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Just under two minutes in the game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And now he's got room to run. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 44-yard line, second down. He's into the open field. He makes his way to about the 45. Throws it out right to the running back. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. Good tackle there in space. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Still on his feet. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive.
And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Georgia 48, Auburn 10. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.